Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you the difference between a custodial and a non-custodial wallet and then I will show you where to find your mnemonic phrase and your private keys on your Android wallet, MyZen wallet and Sphere per Horizon. First, I should explain to you what a wallet is. A wallet is your phone's address on the blockchain. You have a public key that can be compared to your mailbox. Anyone can have it. This is why it is public. If you want to receive some funds, you should give this public key, also called a public address. And you also have the private key that can be compared to the key that opens your mailbox. You don't want anyone to have it. When you put your phones on your wallet, you have to ask yourself one question. Who owns my private key? The answer to that question will tell you if you have a custodial or a non-custodial wallet. If you don't own it, that means that the wallet belongs to the company that owns it. It's a custodial wallet. If you own the private keys, that means that you own your wallet, it's a non-custodial wallet. For example, Binance, Bitrex and UOB are web-hosted wallets and are custodians. That means that if the platform gets hacked, you may be able to lose your funds. Sphere, Verizon, Pepper Wallets and Ledger Nano are non-custodial wallets. You are the only responsible of your funds. On a paper wallet, the private key will be on the paper. On a ledger, the private key will be on an enclave on the ledger. On Sphere, by Horizon, the private key is encrypted on your device. When you create an account, the wallet asks you to write down a mnemonic phrase. If you saw our last video on the subject, you know that the mnemonic phrase is useful to recover your Zen address. Anyone that is in possession of your mnemonic phrase will be able to access to your phones. So be sure to store it in a safe place. Now we will show you where to get your mnemonic phrase on a Sphere Verizon account that already exists. Go to your Sphere Verizon application. Here, as I have a lot of addresses with zero balance, I choose to hide them. To view your mnemonic phrase, you have to click on the pen and paper on the top. Then click on View Backup Phrase. And then you can write it down and save it. Now, how to do with the Android mobile wallet? Go to the app, enter your PIN, check your addresses by clicking on the file icon in the top right corner. We can see that I have only three addresses. Now click in the lines at the top left corner. Click on Settings. Click on Show Secret Phrase and write it down if you didn't do it in the past. To view the private keys, step back and click on Show Private Keys. Now let's see how to view it in Myzen Wallet. I connect to my wallet. As we can see, I have two Zen on it and some addresses. To export the private keys, click on Export. You can export it one by one or everything in one time. Save them on a safe location. Never use your local drives for this purpose. We hope that you enjoyed this video and have a nice experience with your wallets.